Hey, y'all. Ethan from Mandolin Method here. Um, I was going to change my strings today, and I realized I should probably throw up a video, because uh, a lot of folks who are coming from guitar or other instruments um, are doing things the hard way, and there's really a shortcut that I'd like to show you. So to get started, you'll remove the tailpiece cover right here, and I've already taken off the set of G strings. And you never want to take off more than um, a couple strings at a time, because you don't want this bridge to move as it's not attached to the, um, the top here. Um, so the first thing before you start, you're going to want to line up the hole in the tuning machine so that it's aimed up and away, and I'll show you uh, why in a second. Now, you're going to take, I have a G string here, and you're going to hook the loop around there, line it up, and feed it through that hole. like so. Okay, so what you're going to want to do here is um, get the string as tight as possible and in the right track on the nut. Um, from there, you're going to want to turn the string to back towards the center of the mandolin and bring it right back underneath itself here, like that. Um, from there, you bring it back around the string and straight back towards the top. And you can put a little kink there and it'll stay. Then, all you gotta do from there is bring it up to tension. And this eliminates the need from um, making a ton of loops and you can see it's already getting up. Basically, it just locks this string in place. Um, and that's all there is to it. Once you have it kind of relatively in pitch, you can take your pliers and just clip off the extra, and you're done. Repeat for every string. Um, that's all there is to it. Thanks for joining me.